what's up everyone i am starting the next day of vlogmas it's a little later so right now it's one o'clock and i didn't really do anything vlog worthy this morning i just got up went to the gym made some breakfast and now i have been working for a few hours so i edited yesterday's video uploaded that responded to a bunch of emails and now i'm just doing like random work like responding to people from that i had the consultation with yesterday researching the new clients stuff like that so just doing computer work sitting on the couch we're actually all working from home prene is here samra's here and we're all just having a work from home day um i do have a podcast that i'm recording at 1 30 and it's currently one o'clock so i'm gonna be doing that soon but i wanted to update you guys and i feel like today's video is going to be very like repetitive of everything else i've done this week so i think i'm going to show you guys how, like a get ready with me after um i do the podcast so i actually don't even know the podcast i'm being on i should probably look it up <laughs> it's just like on the calendar and i'm like okay i'm just gonna go on and see who it is but i should probably look up like the exact person because i have two one this week and one next week and I think I'm confusing them. And then I'm going to set up all of my podcast equipment and record that. And then see what else I do the rest of the day. I'm about to record. I'm actually sitting on my floor and doing it on here just to be a little bit away from the window. Because it's a little loud. So this is the setup. Just finished recording the podcast. She is so freaking sweet. I loved it. I'm going to have the ready to launch podcast linked down below so that you guys can watch it or not watch it, listen to it. Um, but right now I'm going to clean my room because my room is just a complete mess. Samra just left. So I think I'm just going to spend the day cleaning the apartment. Um, it's a huge, 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 huge mess. Um, I'm going to take a picture for the thumbnail for like before and after I think of the room. Let's see. Yeah, let me, let me just show you guys what what why is my room this messy and then you go in here and it's not really that messy but like i just need to clean the whole thing and i feel like that's gonna be very therapeutic for me listening to Kenzie Elizabeth's podcast this morning. Great episode. Thank you for listening to this Podcast One production. Available on Apple Podcasts and Podcast One. after much much cleaner yay so those clothes over there i just don't have enough hangers so that's why there's a pile but my windowsill is more clean i have to throw that stuff away but overall a much better room this is the best snack is these persian cucumbers from i got them from trader joe's but obviously you can get them anywhere and then these olives and you put salt on the persian cucumbers and they just hit differently you guys it's like not a normal cucumber it's so good so yeah i'm just eating this as a little snack because i am a little hungry i'm just laying down with my computer today was a work from home type of day and i am editing a video that was sponsored and that needs revisions so i kind of wanted to explain with you guys how that works so i did a whole video on brand deals but i didn't talk about the revision part of it and like once you submit your video for approval so anytime i do a brand deal there's contracts that are involved and normally the contracts say that 
like the brand has like two rounds of revisions so you send the video in they either approve it right away some brands are awesome and just like approve it right away which is super nice but most of the time like 95 percent of the time they'll come back with a revision and they'll say hey can you like cut this part out from here to here can you add like um like a title that like says the discount code can you add like a title that says whatever else can you at, like can you do a voiceover for something whatever it is they'll tell you to add it like can you show the product in uh, overlay or whatever so that's like what the revision is so right now I just did a revision for it and this sponsored video is gonna go up during vlogmas so it's gonna be um kind of out of place like if this was filmed like two and a half weeks ago but I mean my days are pretty normal like two weeks ago or today I feel like you can't really tell the difference so um, I'll definitely like mention like this was not filmed right now but that video will be going up during vlogmas and um yeah I wanted to kind of like share with you guys I guess the insight of behind the scenes of a sponsorship or a sponsored post so they just sent me a a few revisions nothing really big so it's just like a few extra steps it's not a big deal at all and I completely get my brands want you to send in revisions so I'm doing that, but I am like dead tired. I want another coffee and we don't have oat milk, so I think I'm gonna go and to the grocery store and go and grab some oat milk and then make a coffee at home because I don't really want to spend money for a coffee when I can just make it at home and I'm gonna need oat milk for tomorrow anyways, so I might as well go out and get that. I am about to do my makeup here. The lighting is kind of bad right now. I'm sorry, I'll just like speed you guys up because I have to watch Cody Ko's new video called Vape Hot Box 2. So he's with Maddie Smokes. It's gonna be an iconic video. <laughs> so I'm gonna watch that while I do my makeup. So have fun like just like seeing, seeing the speed up process. But here's the before. You guys can see I'm breaking out a lot and then I will show you guys the after. Okay guys, it took me so long to position right. this. Look at how this is. Right, this is a good setup. Oh my gosh. <laughs> me up pretty good I will say so I'm gonna go out buy some oat milk <laughs> that's why I got all dressed up no I have an event tonight so um I'm gonna go to that but I am tired so I'm going to go to the grocery store get some oat milk and then um come back here and upload my video because right now it's exporting so I still have to upload it
damaged today. <laughs> so I actually went to an event for the shoe company called Rome and they have the coolest slippers or they're not slippers, but they're slip ons and they are so cute. I definitely cannot wear them in the winter because they're sandals, but these have never been worn. That's why I'm putting them on my bed. How freaking cute. This is literally the softest. I really like them. I think they're super, super cool and cute. And you can actually get them customized, but I did not get them customized. I think these are so cool. So I will definitely be wearing those once it gets a tad warmer out. And then on my way home, I passed by a champion store. So I just bought a set. So I just bought these gray joggers from champion, very plain basic joggers with one of their cropped crew necks um and i really really like it so that is the set that i bought is this the same gray yeah it is okay cool so yeah i just bought this set i got it in a size medium and then a size small in the pants but i'm excited to wear this this winter this with this zara coat that actually keon got me for christmas so he wanted to buy me this for christmas but i was like listen this is gonna get sold out if you wait until christmas so we can do an early christmas present so he got this for me which i'm obsessed with love i think that would be cute together cool street style new york street style the only bad thing about this jacket is that it sheds a lot so you can see like my shirt shed a lot so that is the only thing. Time to put these two away, except I don't have any hangers, so. I am about to go to bed, but before I went to bed, I just wanted to sit and talk to you guys for a minute. So I really have a, I have a question to ask you guys, and I need your help. What charities do you guys like supporting or that you guys know are good? I really wanna get serious about donating my money to charity to um, in 2020, and I actually do a lot of like, giving i guess you can say i do a lot of monetary giving um that i don't talk about because i do it so not to get like recognized for it so i do it more like if individual people need help and i don't want to get into it at all but i have been like donating a lot of my money in various places that i just don't share on youtube this is the first time i'm sharing it on youtube and the only reason why is because i'm trying to ask you guys like where i should be donating money to like organizations because i know organizations are so like multifaceted where like some of them support things that i don't even know that they support and i'm like wait i don't want to be donating it to that you know so i want to get an organization that really does have like a good cause good people around it um maybe like donating it donating it to a church like a really good church here in new york which i don't um i haven't found like a really great church that i love here yet something that really helps the community and i feel like i should i kind of want to do one that's new york focused just because i'm here and i want to be like impacting the city that i'm in but i want to like support more of an organization so if you guys know of any please let me know because i was just thinking today and i was actually listening to kenzie elizabeth's podcast this morning with um Sophia Rossi I think that's the one I was listening to um and she was talking about how like what good is it to like make all this money if you're not going to be generous with it like it's really not a like why would you want to hold holding on so tightly to money is not something that I want to do and also like biblically I want to be tithing and I don't think that tithing necessarily means like to a church like I think it just means like being generous with your wealth I'm only telling you guys this because I want you guys to help me pick the organization because I think it'd be cool if it could kind of be like a collaborative thing because you guys are basically paying me. So I think it would be really cool to kind of get you guys involved. So if you guys know of some charities that I can support, preferably New York City based because then it'd be cool to also like volunteer my time there too. But it does not have to be New York City based. I could also like diversify it and like give it to different organizations. But if you guys know of any, please, please, please let me know. I'm going to do some serious research when I'm home for break um, on organizations and things that I want to support. But I also want to remind you guys that no matter what you have, like, it's always nice to be generous. And it's not nice because, oh, intrinsically, like, I feel so much better because I'm, I'm such a good person for donating. Because absolutely not. It does not make me feel that way at all. It's just, like, I see the way that I'm living and I see how, like, other people are living don't have don't have jobs they're single moms that are looking for jobs and their kid they can't leave their kids to take a job interview which was actually mentioned in like kenzie elizabeth's podcast or like people are homeless that look like me and you and like we don't realize that and i think that 
that to me is just so sad that I'm sitting here getting paid off of an Instagram post. Like, as much as I love my job and I'm not saying like, oh, I'm not going to do sponsors anymore or anything like that. Like, I really do love my job and it's the best job in the whole world. I want to do good with it and I don't just want to like hold on to all my money. So if you guys could please help me out in that way. I feel uncomfortable talking about this for some reason because... I, I feel like donating is something very personal and I never want to like brag about donating like I never ever have told you guys when I have donated Because of that reason because it's not to like oh my god You're such a good person because I no, I could be doing so much better So that's why I don't like I want to pick an organization and I'll like let you guys know But I don't want it to be like okay guys like this is so much i'm donating does that make any sense? I feel like awkward talking about this for some reason, but if you guys can help me out, please, with how you guys have spent your money, or not spent it, how you guys have donated your money, and like what causes you guys have donated to so much noise outside. And I was actually thinking for Christmas, maybe to do, not even to do like donations to a specific charity, but like just like get a like $100 gift cards to like Amazon or something and like give it out to people or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Or $100 gift cards to like Walmart or a grocery store or something like that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I know my family, we would always like get a bunch of gift cards to Walmart and like just put them in people's mailboxes. And that was always like a really great Christmas tradition because I think it's just something so nice to do. And I really want to like start doing more like of that oh i feel so uncomfortable talking about this i'm like debating not putting this up but i feel like i just need your help and i also think it'd be cool if we could do something like this together like maybe have a day i wanted to do this a while ago um i remember like last year and i never got around to doing it but doing like a subscriber meetup um and meet like going to like um a food kitchen or something like that and having that be like a meetup but also we're all volunteering together i think that would be really cool so if you guys know of something that could maybe like organize that let me know i'm gonna be doing my research but i wanted to post this out there just to get any ideas because if we put our heads together it'll be better anyways thank you so much for watching this video i love you guys i'm gonna go to sleep i'm actually gonna edit this tonight because i have a fun day planned tomorrow and i will see you guys later bye guys <laughs>